So this came actually last week, I think, was it? Yep. Last week, so we've opened it already. And what it is, is the um, starter kit, the NMEA 2000 starter kit. So this is um, a power cable for that, uh, the backbone cable with some um, connectors, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, if you're new to NMEA 2000, what it is, is a, a network of cables that allow different um, electrical components like chart plotters, depth gauges, things like that to all communicate with each other. Um, so Not it, to be confused with MMA, mixed martial arts. No, no, <laughs> not to be confused with MMA, as Kelly says. So um, we'll just go into it in a, a bit more detail in a minute. We'll just have a look at the tech that we have. I'm excited about this. Um, yeah, see what we have and then we're going to explain just how, how that works. Treated ourselves to a B and G Vulcan Seven chart plotter. Um, there's this is the seven. It comes in a nine and a twelve, I think, as well. And set that relates to um, screen size. But yeah, and also uh, I'll show you. Well, we'll talk. We'll talk about the the chart plotter first. So, let's see. This will all integrate with the radio that we have, the BNG V50. As we said in one of our previous videos, that um, it has an AIS capability and GPS for chart plotting or um, waypoint marking and things like that, but. We actually have no GPS antenna, so rather than spending the money on a GPS, an NMEA 2000 GPS antenna, this has a built-in GPS, so we were looking at getting a chart platter anyway, so we thought we'd kill two birds with one stone and get the chart platter with the GPS. Now, we did look at getting the 9. The Vulcan 9 but it didn't have built in GPS as far as I could see and it was a, a good bit more expensive so we went for this one and I think given the size of the boat um, the 7 inch one will do lovely. My god it's tiny as in I thought it was going to be bulkier at the back you yeah know, true now. Neat. Neat. Neat is the word. Even better for installation than they can also have big yeah. bits to come in the back. So that's the sun cover. Mm -hmm. Inside. Oh. Shiny. Nice. So obviously we can't power this up. We don't have any um twelve volt power, but it's something then uh once we get down to the boat. We can we can have a look getting set up, but um that's the the chart plotter. What's it? What's in the box here? So a cable which looks like it's an MEA zero one eight three. I think is the predecessor to the the two thousand. And um, when it comes like that with the, the separate cables. Could be wrong. And then just a fuse and some mounting mounting kits with the, the power cable is that. And bracket. a bracket. With of course our quick guides and instruction manuals and warranty. 
something else. Oh, the flush mounting kit. So the rubber seal if you're flush mounting, which we will be doing, um, to have it in the cockpit. What we'll be doing then with our regards to the NMEA network is um, on our current electrics we don't we have a depth gauge but it's very dated um, but we don't have uh, much else other than that so we have invested in this which you'll see has the paddle wheel so it's a speed sensor but it also has built in depth um, readings and water temperature sensor so we'll have to look and see whether this can fit into the through hole that's already there whether we're going to have to mount um, open that through hole up to, to fit this So, but I'm looking forward to having that because this will connect into um, our NMEA um, backbone so that can these will connect on to this way of it. Oh. Male to female, female to female. And like that. And then this can connect on to this. And then our BNG chart plotter will be able to read the temperature of the water, the speed through the water and the depth through this as well as this will be able to provide our um, VHF radio, the V50 with um, GPS position and that will allow the AIS system to work so it will all communicate um, together with, through the NEMA network one other thing that we need to get that we don't have is a wind speed and direction indicator for the top of the mast. Um, as you have seen before, we have the Ray, Ray Marine Tactic or Tic Tac um, wind sensor, but it, as you've probably seen in previous videos, it doesn't always work. So I'd rather. A bit temperamental. A bit temperamental. So I'd rather replace it. These are. Okay, so that's the skin fitting for the. for the transducer. So this will go through the hull of the boat and sit flush with that, and then this will slide down into it and screw on. Okay, so I'm not going to mess about with it now in case it damage anything, but. Um, that is definitely larger than what we have at the moment with our boat speed paddle wheel. That's a lot larger, so I'm going to have to bore out the hole to make it bigger. Make a bigger hole. Make a bigger hole for that. Um, so that'll be just a, a wee bit of added work. And then this is the rubber seal then if we need to take this out to clean any muck or dirt off the, the paddle wheel we take it out and then we'll just pop that in clean that up and then swap them off so that the boat doesn't sink really which is always a good thing to make sure it doesn't happen but that's our new tech and happy I'm really excited about yeah i'm happy about it and really excited about getting it all fitted and we'll I'll have to go through all the instructions and make sure I'm gonna do that properly. But I got all of this stuff from EcoMaster, and um, because they were the cheapest and their customer service was great, and um, so I'll leave a link down below for for their website, and you can check them out. So the first thing I've done is connect up the NMEA power power lead. So this is just a lead that will connect to the M NMEA backbone and um, going into a 12 volt power source and then we shall to that connect our first T piece.
So we've already got our chart plotter wired up to our DC power and that's what this wire is. So then we're going to connect one of the NMEA leads up to the back of the chart plotter. Then to add the next electrical piece to the NEMA network, we have to connect another T piece. You just carry on and add T pieces depending on the, the equipment that you need. So each piece of um, NEMA uh, equipment will need uh, an individual T piece. Make sure they're all secure and fastened. Now if you're adding additional T pieces and you like uniformity, try and buy the same um, from the same manufacturer. So I think these are all kind of low rants um, T pieces. This is one that I bought because it was slightly cheaper um, from a different manufacturer and it'll fit on okay but you'll see here that the, the pain is that they don't line up nice and straight so this will connect in okay but as you can see that's going to be having a cable pointing down the way where the rest of them are all pointing up so I'll replace this with a, a proper one just for um, just to make it nicer to sit flush when I mount it so now so under this one we'll put the VHF radio. Um, so that's our components mounted. So we have our triducer, our power source for the NEMA, our chart plotter and our VHF radio. So remember what I said about the terminators. So a terminator needs to go on at either end of your T pieces, the, the backbone, just to create the circuit I assume. That's our NEMA network. This is our backbone and these are the drop cables to the um, electrical components that we're going to use. Okay, so um, let's turn on the VHF. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got boat speed through water with our tread user. We have no depth. Now, I know you have to um, connect from reading um, the details about the tread user. You have to connect the Bluetooth to set up parameters and things like that with this. So I might have to do that to sort out the depth. So it took a bit of playing about with, but we eventually got the system all working. And you'll see that in a later video. Um, well, we're happy at this stage that we were able to connect up the NMEA network and get it somewhat working. Join us next time on Little Boat Adventures, where we will be modifying our through hull and installing the new transducer. Thanks for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and leave us a comment below and let us know what you thought of our new tech. If you like our videos, please consider supporting our channel by visiting our coffee or Patreon page or following along on social media. Thanks again.